Good morning, welcome to the Guillemot Kayaks Workshop. I'm Nick Schada and I'm working on finishing up the Micro Bootlegger Sports Strip Built Sea Kayak. Today I'm going to apply the final finish to the boat. Um, it's a really hot day out there, so I'm trying to get an early start to get outside before it heats up too much. Again, my plan is to take the two-part rattle can of uh, spray clear coat, so this has two components in it. You press the bottom button here, it releases the second component in there, shake it up, mix it together, and spray that on, try to get a really nice final finish on the boat. Um, so again, I want to get out before it gets too hot and see if I can do a nice job on this boat. So let's get to it. So I'm going to mask off. I've got some masking paper in here already, but I'm going to mask in behind the cheek plate here so I can get a new coat on that. It has some clear coat on it already from when I did the interior, but uh, I want to get the rest of it.
All right, I wasn't happy with how it was going outside. I think it's just too warm. So I'm gonna bring it inside. I'm keeping this door closed while I do the actual spraying. I got the garage doors open. Once I'm done spraying, I'll open it up, get some ventilation through here. So it's the next day, um, I had to quit for the day and um, now I wanna get that uh, matte finish on the bottom of the boat. But I also wanna key the surface here a little bit where I'm gonna be overlapping with the coat from yesterday. So, um, and I don't wanna scratch up the part where I wanna leave it glossy in the long run. So I'm gonna just mask off at the waterline here um, with some blue masking tape, give it a light sanding to um, key the surface, prepare it for the next coat, um, and then I'll strip that masking tape off, put new masking tape on, and spray the matte finish on the bottom. So a couple steps before I'm ready to go. So I'm going to use a matte finish here on the bottom um, for a couple reasons. I think it looks cool. Having that contrast between the gloss and the matte I think looks really sharp. And also, since it's the bottom of the boat, the bottom tends to get scratched the most and the matte finish doesn't show the scratches as much as a gloss finish. So, just a couple reasons for it. Mainly I think it looks cool.
So after spraying the finish on the top and bottom of the boat, I had to let it dry for a little while, so I went off to buy some wood for an upcoming class. So the next episode, I'll buff out the finish on the deck to get rid of any dust that laid in it. I don't have a dust-free environment here. I was working outside, and then I was working in my shop. I don't have a spray booth, so um, I get dust in the finish. And we're just trying to make a nice, um, smooth finish, and so I'm going to buff it out. But until then, if you have any questions about this process, please post them in the comments below. If you like this video and learned anything from it, please hit like, turn on notifications, subscribe, whatever good stuff. Um, you may have noticed below the video on YouTube, I now have a bookshelf, they call it, um, where I'm selling t-shirts. I also have a photo of the micro bootlegger you can get mounted on canvas. Looks pretty cool. I haven't tried to get one yet myself, but it looks like a pretty cool thing. I'll be adding some more things to that bookshelf as options to, that you can buy to help support the production of these videos. And once again, I'm on Instagram and Facebook, and I have a Patreon page where you can directly support the production of these videos. Anything you do helps me see you appreciate what I'm doing here and gives me incentive to keep on doing more. So until the next episode, thanks for watching and happy paddling.